video is going to have to do with approving PTO. So you are going to get an email uh, when somebody applies for PTO, you're going to get it in an email. It'll come in your inbox. I'll just try to find one here from Paylocity just so that it makes sense for you. This is where all the changes were made that nobody told me about. But you, you will get, uh, I can't find one right here. It is Paylocity and Annette. So I'll open this one up. She submitted a time off request for 12-4. So when that happens, what I normally do is immediately I'll go to Tech PTO. I go to 12 and I go to 12.4 and that doesn't make sense in that. 12.14, that makes more sense. So I look at 12.14, Annette wants to go in there, so I go ahead and put Annette's name in there. Okay, so that's it. When you fill it up, obviously we might be splitting things up. Unless Mary, you might have your own section. BB and Annette are going to have their own section. And however big we uh, we continue to progress, we might have more people that are doing this. So this is one way that we're doing it. I am going to get this uh, PTO Tech PTO Google Sheet updated by Robert and Amy so that it's a lot more user friendly because right now it's just uh, user friendly for me. But I will get that done for for you so that's what you get it in here and then you go to the tech pto calendar you put it into the tech pto calendar and then you can go back to paylocity let me see where here we go we go back to paylocity and what i will do right now we're in time and labor okay which is fine we can go into time and labor and we're going to look here pending time off requests so we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at our pending time off requests. Now, what I do here, the reason why I keep two PTO calendars is because people will ask for things way, way far in the future. But I really don't know, we really don't know what the situation is going to be that far in the future. So Dr. Balius and Lucy have asked me to only approve PTO three months in advance, keep this separate calendar. So when we go here, that's why you see all of these are uh, like three months or beyond. This is all Christmas week, which I'm going to be doing the first week of October. So the way I do it is the first week of September, I make sure that all of September and October and November dates are approved. So you should not see any dates in the request start in those three months. And you don't. Everything, the closest one you see is 12-9 by Lucevia, and I have not approved that yet. And here's the one from Annette that we just got the email from. So basically, when I look at that, this is technically three months in advance. So I'm gonna be approving this next week anyway. So I'm just gonna show you how do, how do you approve it. You simply click on it and you approve the selected. So now Annette is approved. We know that we can do it because we checked here. We placed her name in there. We still have a spot for one more, so no problem there. Again, it starts with the email. You get the email, you go directly to Tech PTO. If it's available, great. If it's not, you just don't put the name in there. Or maybe like what I do is you put the name in there and the day that they uh, applied for it, and you look and you see, so this way when you go to approve three months before, you can see who you need to approve. So again, that's how you approve payroll, uh, approve PTO in Paylocity.